are both the superstars, both 34s, really trying to take control of their team. No score, a minute and a half gone. Give and go, and finally it's Elijah Wan. That's the first points of the game. If you're calling fouls, let me have that one. Elijah Wan with a jump hook, and Houston leads it 6 4. Phoenix lead at the 439 mark. Vernon Maxwell, it won't drop it. Elijah Wan with a rebound and a putback. Hakeem with six to lead the Rockets. Hartley spots up the tray. And Rory with a rebound as Elijah Wan goes down holding his head. He may have taken an elbow. The Rockets playing four against five, and Ori calls time, 22nd timeout, and that's a concerned bench that walks over to their fallen star. Let's see what happens as he battled for the rebound with Cedric Sabalos of Phoenix. Going up, and the hand comes down right in the face of Elijah Wan, and he immediately goes to the floor. This is one of those inadvertent plays where he was trying to get up and Sabalos was coming down and caught him right across the face. And the Houston fans, they can't stand to see this three times because Elijah Wan has been the heart, the soul, uh, the stabilizing force of that franchise. He seems to be at least conscious, but he's very, very grogging and and, and very slow to get up. It's like he's been knocked out. He's had some fractures of his facial bones and, and uh, been rendered unconscious before. And he's like a fighter being led back to the corner until he finally gets his head cleared and become a force out on the floor. Door on the pick and roll. And it's Elijah on the presence felt immediately. 23 20 Houston defender on Barkley. Inside, great pass blocked by Elijah Wan. The final seconds of game three with a high hard one. Herrera with a running hook and Elijah Wan flies in to score. Akeem Elijah Wan now with 10 to lead all scores. Either going to drive all the way or he's going to park on the line for a three point shot. They're coming inside to Elijah Wan. Big adjustment on this shot. Elijah Wan with that head fake. Not playing at all until a Portland series and in game four up there got a chance to play and Rudy is not afraid to come to him. He has the ability to score. Elijah Wan now beginning to heat up. Elijah Wan and they waited for the right man. He has been the hammer for them. Gisell said, where are you, big fella? He said, I'm coming. Four point Houston lead. Hasn't missed many either. A nine for 14, half and 18 points. Both teams under 50%, but that's the kind of shooting one would expect at the playoff level. And uh, front court scoring does disappoint Paul Westfall. The Suns only 14 points, with Barkley having only six. So let's see who loads up. Kenny Smith has a chance to get by Dan Marley off the dribble if he wants to go to the hole. Elijah Wan over West. A tough jump up from 10. He has 20 to lead all scores. And that time he won the battle between himself and Elijah Wan. 12 points for Barkley. Elijah Wan a set up from Nelly has 22. Look at West leaning against Elijah Wan. And uh, that's what he's in there to do to try to keep him off the box. That's a three for Cassell, and the rookie gives the Rockets their biggest advantage. 82 to 70 and a timeout. 7.09 to go. 19 voices, 1,000 voices cheering the defense as Elijah won at 7 feet. How nimble he is. 24. And then come back with a quick score against him. That's what Kevin Johnson tried to create. Elijah won knocked it away. Warrior. 
Chargers' sons make a mistake at the defensive end and capitalize either with the cheap field goal, their run, or a free throw. Elijah Wan with his 26th point. It'll be a quiet three with one minute to go. Nine-point lead. 